This is an English tutorial. I would like to tell you about how to working with an XML files in Android. So we can concentrate on uh, here. I am creating a one project. It is a project name is a Hello. I click on in this on this project. We have a uh, we can see a, a res folder. This res means nothing but a resources. In this resources, we can see the mainly the five folders that uh, we can visible to you. The dra drawable HTTPI and drawable LTPI and drawable MDPI. These three folders are regarding mainly useful to the storing and images. We can see this. Uh, we can open this folder here. Th two images are there. If I, if you are creating an project, means we can get only IC icon dot PNG. But I am creating an uh, I I I copied another another images from my so my my computer and copied this, this folder. Suppose we are working with a low level for load and density pixels mobiles, we can uh, draw all the images. What are the images are there? These draw images are used by the an Android application. If we are working with a high level definitions, we can using a hard drawable HDPPI folder. So here we can we we can see the layout and the values are two folders are there. Layouts is nothing but the what are the layouts are configured in this folder. The three layouts XML files are created in the layout folder and we can uh, store the values. Suppose we have to string the water app name and some string values we, we can represent uh, we can represent it on and create it in the strings variable. So first way we can working on within a main.xml. Click on the main.xml, we will get this thing, we will get the main.xml programming page. We if you are we can do a modifications here or we can do a modifications in graphical layout. We can suppose we can here in this graphical layout only you have a draw uh, mainly the form widgets and a text form a text text fields layouts composites and what are the composites are viewable and images and time time and date and transitions advanced custom and library these things are the mainly are there for uh, in this thing I have to see mainly we, we can drag and drop the buttons and drop the drag the buttons and drop here in in this graphical layout page in this black screen <laughs> suppose we want to create an one suppose we want to create a one radio button so that's why here we can see the radio button we can click on radio button and, and drag here so if you if you go to the pro programmatic page this this radio button the code will be automatically generated whenever we are drag and drop the button so this thing we can done in this thing can be done in programmatic also We can click on a type as a radio button, radio button, radio button, Android, Android text, it is text, Android text. What do we have to text given? Uh, we can give a text. I'm using an example button, example radio button, example R. So and also we can give an ID. We can provide an ID to the. We can use this, this radio buttons. So what are the some values we can store the? If you have click on radio button, we want to get the data. What are the status of the radio button? If you drag, click or unclick, we can get the data from programmatic programmatic approach in Java. So, so here we can providing a data means at the rate plus symbols. If you have the plus symbols means if, you, if it is there, it is not. It is creating an, a new ID for that. Uh, and ID, what are the name is given? Slash backslash and giving that forward slash and in the after the forward slash we can giving a name. Radio button one. RD1 and uh, we can provide a layout. If you don't provide any layout, means we can get an er error. We can get an er error. So here, uh, Android Android colon layout uh, layout underscore with here we can provide an um, layout with wrap content fill parent and uh, suppose we click on um, control space on um, control space we will get the what are the options are available. Fill parents means the total screen will be occupied by this radio button. Match parents means suppose we can providing a matching the parent and it will be occupying. Wrap content means if you are providing a radio button is a very length and very small depending upon what are the size of the radio button name that the wrap can the radio button play will be occupied the place we can provide a wrap content. So I am providing a wrap content then and same way also we can provide a layout height this is also the same thing same three options wrap content so if you save on the save and error in xml means here we can get an error linear
here it will be appear so you can go and compare layout here example plr if you'll get a here the same way same way we can drag and drop the button so we can tag the text fields the text fields here the text field will be appear this code will be generated in here code will be uh, this thing we can do in programmatic approach also we can do edit text id 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 means return id means at the rate plus symbol id slash slash edit text one edit text one and then the same will layout layout with wrap content wrap content under layout height this is also a wrap content and the same way this text also we can provide a default as a text also we can provide android text enter name we can save and XML here uh, specifications are entered. I would research must be followed by whether the attribute or specifications. We can delete. It will be uh, closed. Edit text slash layout with wrap content layout width layout height layout height wrap content it is also wrap content and it is also wrap content save we can see in graphical layout here we can get if you have run this program we will get this uh, these things appear when on screen these things will be appear on the screen you are running the program and installing whatever the process background process start success and activating the starting intent what are the intent we are using so here we are what are the things are there here the radio button 1 radio button x empire x empire these things will be appear here so if you want to create a new radio, new XML file means we can right click on this thing and I create a new here XML file is there Android no, no, no not Android project click here a new new file Here Android XML file is there. Click on Android XML file. What are the file name? We can provide a file name. Zvr. My file name is what are the types? That is a layout or color list or preferences, scratchable values, drawable or menu, whatever app widget provider or animation. We can providing my providing a layout. What are the layout? Suppose I'm creating a linear layout on finish. We will get these things and I'm providing a background image. I'm providing a background image at the rate drawable. At the rate drawable. This thing will be if you go if you want to if you want to visible the screen means we can click on we can configure that thing in Hello World Android XML Android. Here main is there and provide a GVR. We can click a save, save all, and as well as we can run as an Android program, Android application. It is loading. It takes a 30 to 40 seconds to load. Uh, here we can see you can visible Android. X. Suppose when you draw the same screen here visible to you in this in this accumulator in this accumulator this every day
so this thing this is the aborting about how to creating a layout layout xml pages if you want to create an xml files regarding to the string values in this values folder suppose here two things are the resources and xml string if you go to the string dot xml we will get the what are the things we are there in this thing suppose we can create a string a string name is equals to string name is equals to name is equals to name what are the name here providing a welcome welcome this is the welcome here in, if you go to if you go to see here string name will be name is a string we can get a string found a string string where item is expected If you add a string here, you go, we can click on add, add under here string item color dimension draw full integer array item string string array. These things are there. If you click on a string, okay, then add. If you provide a string name, well, well, string name is a well and value is a welcome. W L C O M E welcome. And value name is welcome. If you go to the Android XML file here, we can get a string with the same thing. String name is equals to name name and SGVR. This is this this is this is also another way we can creating Android XML files. The same way we can creating the same way we can provide an a string. If you want a string values in the new string values means we can creating a click on new a new XML file new, new Android XML file and Android XML is over value value here the type is the values values is type is the values so we can click on a finish. Here we will get a string values. We can provide a string also here by using str and string name is equals to name is equals to oh no. here we can provide a name. Welcome to the Android Android values types. Welcome to the Android values type. So if you want to this thing it will be appear in will be in the screen means we can use we can configure the thing in main.xml click on text field text view text is equals to at the rate string string hello values Value slash hello layout what wrap content layout layout height wrap content it is also a wrap content save String string slash ano string slash ano <coughs> save 
we can run as an android application we can run as an android application android application this gvr text view match parent wrap content and if you go to the main.xml hello world run as an android application here welcome to an android values we can get an uh, this is the way how to using an android application android xml xml files in android we can see the how to working your text fields video buttons in the next tutorial thank you for watching my video we can see you meet you on next tutorial